So Troy, why do we need a more diverse curriculum in our schools? Just to help everyone understand each other. I think um, the whole world is moving in a more diverse um, way of thinking, way of accepting the, you know, things that we did we thought five, ten years ago mm. what, uh, were perceived to be unacceptable, obviously, are, are now massively acceptable and I think that's great. I think the world will always evolve. I don't think the uh, education system has evolved with the world. Mm -hmm. And many people, many black people would think that there are actually Saturday schools still in existence in this mm -hmm. country that kind of specifically teach about the history of, of people in this country yeah. and beyond. Would an approach to maybe f helping and supporting, whether it's funding or otherwise, those current existing institutions mm -hmm. be better than maybe trying to get a government that don't seem to want to align mm -hmm. with what you want? Wouldn't that be a better approach? Uh, it could have been, however, how many people do we know that we're truly impacting with these Saturday schools, they're doing great work, mm. but you, we're, we're trying to blanket and hit everybody, mm -hmm. do you get what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's the aim, if we can hit as many people as possible, and with this open letter, thankfully we've had a, an immediate response from government, mm. that doesn't mean in any way, shape or form we're going to get instant change, mm -hmm. as we know that can always be a problem, but mm -hmm. they've reached out to us. Do you sure, get what I mean? Sure. They've said, here's the olive branch. So we have to take that with positivity that there's, a, there's an open line of communication there to create some form of change. Mm -hmm. They must know they're not doing things right. Otherwise, you get a, sorry, guys, mm -hmm. like, next, next subject mm -hmm. kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I think we can always throw money at a situation. But I think we need to do some real substantial change. And people that are working in these Saturday schools, as you spoke about, keep up the great work. And I'm hopeful that if we can get this into government, it's mandated, that will drive more people to your schools mm -hmm. because people want to get a, a thirst for knowledge and understand what's going on. And we saw a response from the Secretary of State, Nadine Zahawi, mm -hmm. <clears throat> offering to, to have a dialogue with mm -hmm. your good self. Do you have faith and trust that this particular government mm -hmm. would really be sympathetic to the idea mm -hmm. of diversifying the curriculum in this country? Uh, I have to be. Mm -hmm. That's the honest answer. I have to be hopeful and uh, and if you go into it going oh i'm not sure they really want to do this or have all these negative thoughts going around it's probably going to have a, a negative effect on the conversation mm -hmm. so we'll take it for what it's worth the, the open line of communication let's have a conversation but i think also when you know who i am and what i'm about if if that goes in a completely negative way like it's a box ticking exercise mm. then i believe that that will do more damage than good because I'm going to be the person to call it out. Sure. Do you get what yeah, I mean? Totally. So I hope that it's a, an honest line of communication about moving things forward. And also we have uh, the answers in, in Wales currently. Mm -hmm. Wales will show you that you can do this. It doesn't cost anything extra. It's not taken away. It's always added to. So I think that's a, you know, a solution that we we're able to now present. Why is this personal for you? I've got kids. Mm -hmm. I, and I've said it from when, when we when we took the knee and we we were saying what we were going to do. I said from that, this is just the beginning. I'm not one of those people that I don't just do things just to do it. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, totally. I don't. I didn't go to the Black Lives Matter marches and go right. Done my part. Whew, I can sit back now and just criticise everybody else. I believe in solutions. I believe if um, if there's a solution, there's a way of fixing things. We should all have conversations about fixing things. Mm -hmm. If you sit around and the wind's been crazy this week, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, weather's awful, weather's awful, but there's a way of fixing it, and let's, let's talk about mm -hmm. fixing it. But if we're gonna sit there and complain, or I don't like these books, and I don't like this, and I don't like it, before you know it, all that happens is you're just complaining, mm -hmm. and there's no, there's no solution there. And if so many people, we've got so many things to be unhappy with at the moment, let's just try and get some good out of there and get some positive energy out there. You're someone that's spoken about the last 18 months, mm -hmm. uh, not being wasted, but you haven't seen the progress and change that you wanted mm -hmm. to really see. How do we make sure, how do you make sure that you're not here in 18 months time talking about what could have happened and there was a lot of talk and there was a letter that went in, mm -hmm. but ultimately there's been no actual tangible change? Uh, the difference is I've got, I've got really smart people who have already done this and there's two sets of petitions that have already gone in with over 400,000 mm -hmm. um, signatures on it. So I can use their knowledge, they're, they're willing to help. And I've also got the solution in, in Wales as I touched on earlier. Mm. So the reason I think it'll be different is because we're able to generate um, solid foundational facts that this, 
this is needed and it can work. Mm. I think that's the only difference. I think if we're still here 18 months doing the same thing, mm -hmm. I'll be turning around to people saying there's going to be no change mm -hmm. because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm like a, you know, a dog with a bone. Mm -hmm. Once I've got my mind into something, I want it to happen. Um, and I'm going to keep pushing for, for it to happen. I did that within football, as you spoke about, mm -hmm. and I ended up getting my own way. Mm -hmm. um, but you can't do that on your own. You need everyone in involved. You need everyone um, putting their stories on, on Twitter. We've opened up a Twitter handle for that. Um, similarly to the, the Me Too movement, where people can put their experiences on and we can create conversations within that. Mm -hmm. um, because I, this isn't a Troy forward. I'm not at the front of it going, oh, tell me how great mm -hmm. I am. This is me in a line with everybody else. Mm -hmm who has done all this great work and, uh, and wants to see change. If you really want to see change, we all have to stand in line and we'll all get a, a pat on the back when, when the job's done. Football's your world. Mm -hmm. You mentioned earlier on you, you've got good people around you. Mm -hmm. Who are you working with to ensure that you can really navigate this arena to actually get that change that you want? So we've obviously spoken to uh, Angel and, and, and um, Esme down in, um, in Wales. Mm -hmm. We've got the emission group as well, who are, who are based from around here in Brixton. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the, the Black Curriculum who are actually actively helping teachers learn the, the dialogue and they're in schools and all over Europe at the moment. So we're in a, a really, really good place with knowledgeable people that understand what they're doing. The, the Black Curriculum have just done something with Vogue as well. So it's expanding, it's, it's understanding, but we're all a, on the same mission. And I think what gets uh, the problem that happens in, in, in the long term is people go off in their own route. So why, why not go together as a focused attack and we all lend our helping hand to what we think can change and done that with yourself mm -hmm. in, in the past mm -hmm. and, and I hope this can, you know, can be that, that vehicle of change that everybody really wants. There's a couple more. Um, what would you like to see on the curriculum? You've got kids you mentioned. Mm -hmm. What would you like to ideally see on the curriculum that would give you faith and hope that actually my kids are learning a type of history that is going to be fitting of, of them in their future? Um, I would just like to see an understanding of, of, of all different cultures. I think when my kids walk down the street, they can see many different cultures, many different people, even people that look like them, but in their school books and in their school work, they're not seeing that. Mm -hmm. So that would be one. I think um, we need to get uh, more help to the teachers. Mm -hmm. um, again, if that means whether they be black, white or Asian, but just get more help in terms of the language and delivery. Um, because we all know the way you speak to someone, a certain tone changes everything. Mm -hmm. You can be saying something nice, but if you say it with a screw face, then yeah. it's not really going to be delivered the mm -hmm. right way. So yeah, what I would really want is that it's just, we are in a position where my kids can see and hear about people that look like them, not necessarily just in athletes or in music. True. It can be everywhere. Uh, final one, final mm -hmm. question. What would be your rallying cry to the black community off the back of the letter you've now submitted? What do you want people to do to support and help this? Go to the petition, mm -hmm. sign it, mm -hmm. uh, repost it, say your stories online. And like I said, we're all going to stand in a line. It's not Troy's at the front and I'm this revolutionary guy. Like there's a lot of smarter and, and people that have been working on this a lot longer than me. Mm -hmm. um, I just want everyone in a line. And there's no point of sitting at home saying, this isn't good enough here's a platform for you to actually have a voice, have some change. And if you do speak on, uh, on Twitter, we're reading everything. So we can take some bits of information. So even if I don't reach out personally to you, I might see your story, go, we could use that okay. and then put that in. And you're part of change, which is what everyone wants to do. Okay, that's why you're a bad boy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers for your time. Cheers. Thank you. Big up.